that we saw last week when we talked about emotion and the sadness of burnout. This is the process by which burnout occurs. And you can plug into that model the dentist that I talked about. Um, you can plug into that model um, highly paid athletes. You know, the athlete who becomes very skilled at their sport because they love their sport and then starts getting millions and millions of dollars and starts focusing on millions and millions of dollars, starts to lose the pleasure of engaging in the sport itself for the pleasure of the sport, lo and behold, the value of those outcomes starts to drop and they find themselves with nothing there. Uh, to, to give you the classic sports, um, for those of you that know, a chap by the name of Michael Jordan, um, one of the most successful basketball players in history, um, had led his Chicago Bulls team to several championships in a row, was the most valuable player almost, you know, by default, um, by acclamation, and Michael Jordan just got to the point where everything of value had been achieved. What were the odds of him winning another scoring championship, being MVP, leading the Bulls to another victory? The outcome expectations of that was almost won. I, I mean, mail it in kind of thing. There was nothing there anymore. And when Michael Jordan went back to the intrinsic motivation tank, it was empty. Now, fortunately, unlike my dentist that I talked about, Michael Jordan made a most beautiful decision. He decided at his prime to quit basketball. But he didn't just quit basketball. What he did was decide to go and play semi-pro baseball. Because it was in baseball that he would be able to retrieve all of the intrinsic pleasure and excitement of at least athletics. And in fact, he wasn't nearly as skilled at baseball as he was in basketball. Therefore, this move would in essence remove all of the outcomes that he had become accustomed to as an athlete. He was now playing like single A semi-pro ball, probably for $250 a week, riding in a school bus to games, um, you know, instead of his personal jet, uh, which he did not use, he didn't take it with him, just got back to the basics, much like the dentist I talked about going to dentists without, or doctors without borders. Um, he went back, revived the intrinsic interest of sport and athletics, then came back to basketball um, and retained this model. The outcomes were irrelevant again. And, and in fact, if you hear Michael Jordan talking during those days, uh, he's talking like he was an expert in DC's model of cognitive evaluation theory uh, and made all of the right moves. Came back, performed admirably for another few years before retiring due to age more than the loss of, of thrill and excitement. Um, it, it, it also hit Wayne Gretzky. Um, it was the driving force of why he left Edmonton, um, was burnout, although he doesn't phrase it as well as Michael Jordan. But it's a very insidious kind of, of disorder that can, that can happen. Questions so far? Anything? 